بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي الحب في الله in this time we live in a time of great crisis and trial and turmoil and chaos and confusion because what we see around the world we see Muslims fighting and killing Muslims that are supposed to be brothers in faith we see extremists killing everything that lay within their path Muslim non-Muslim plants animals any and everything that breathes we have the Shia the Rafida killing Ahl Sunnah and raising up around the world and preparing why many of us are sleeping and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the evil plans of those people who curse the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum but what is most disheartening ahabbatu billah is not the open enemies to Islam those people who hate Islam and don't want to see Islam advance and try to prohibit and prevent Islam that is well known to us and that is mentioned all throughout the Quran and how we should repair for dealing with those types of threats but what is most disheartening is what the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam informed us that we would strike one another's necks that we would take the lives of one another and usually this is in the case where we have extremism usually with takfir especially in this time and age because there's been a revival of a lot of the aqidah and methodology of the khawarij in this day and age and due to the limited practice of the sharia in many places in the world and the lack of knowledge being studied and implemented amongst the Muslims around the world then we see a rise in extremism so then we see Muslims taking the blood and making it lawful to take the life of another Muslim very easily without any thought of the consequences before Allah Rabbil Alameen and it's important Habibti Fillah to understand the meaning of fitna ta'rif al qital al fitna to understand the meaning of killing or fighting in fitna qital al fitna Habibti Fillah who kull qital bain al muslimin ashtabahu fihi al haqq wa batil this is very important for us to understand this this ta'rif this definition that the qital qital al fitn that when there is uh, fighting that is like fitna meaning it's just a trial and tribulations there is killing that only is a trial and tribulation for muslims this as a sharia term the ulama have referred to it as qital al fitna and this is when it is any fighting between muslims where the truth and falsehood is mixed that's why it's fitna because it's not easy to discern always the truth and the falsehood and a good example is what take took place in Iraq in places like this even during the time of uh, the Iraq war and so forth because you had extremists like al-Qaeda Zarqawi people like this who were Muslim but they made they had the methodology of the Khawarij and then you had the Shia Rafida fighting them and you had other Sunni tribes fighting them so then you have the fitna between the Muslims and then you have the Hizb al-Bath and you had the American soldiers and the coalition and it was just folda so it makes it difficult to discern truth from falsehood especially when you have muslims killing muslims likewise what we see in iraq now so iraq has just been a place of pain and turmoil and chaos when you have groups like 
ISIS or ISIL or Islamic State as they refer to themselves that from what we understand of them they claim to be Sunni Muslims and they disavow themselves in their documents from the Khawarij but however their statements and their actions and their speech seem to contradict that regarding takfir regarding brutality and extremism and at the same time you have Sunni tribes fighting against them and you have other takfiris fighting against them and then now the Shia, the Rafida, Shayateen, Hizb Shaitan they now join the Western groups and other groups that have come together to fight these extremists. So this is also contains within it Qital al fitan because there are Muslims killing Muslims on opposing sides, which still within the fold of Islam. Bi'idnillah ta'ala. And Ahlul Ilm Qadimin, like Imam Atabari said, a beautiful statement, and we'll end here. And this is in Fath al Bari by Imam ibn Hajar al Askalani, Rahmatullah. But Imam Tabari, he said, Was Suwab and Yakala in al Fitnata Aslaha ibtila, wa in Kar al Munkar wajib ala kulli men kadra alayhi. فمن عانى المحك أصابه ومن ومن عانى ومن عانى المخطي أخطأ وإن أشكل الأمر فهي الحالة التي ورد النهي عن القتال فيها نقلا عن الفتح. إمام تبراني إمام تبري رحمة الله عليه he said and the truth is to say that fitna, that its origin is chaos or it's a test or it's a trial or tribulation. And to restrain evil is an obligation on everyone who has the ability to do so. So, who have, so whoever assists the person who's on the truth, then this person was correct. And whoever assisted a person who was mistaken, then this person has made a mistake. And if the affair has become confused and mixed, then this is the situation in which it is mentioned that it is prohibited to fight in this state. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from joining in the Qital uh, of Fitan, the time of, uh, of when there's fighting and matters are confused and people are telling you this and people are telling you that. But instead, we should be coming back to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and stick with the major scholars who have ilm wa fiqh and basira and insight into these matters. And the Prophet ﷺ gave us the prescription. He said, And whoever lives after me will see many differences. And this is what we see in this time and age, many differences and a lot of confusion. And then he gave us a prescription. The Prophet ﷺ said, as a prescription for this fitna and a, con a prescription for confusion and folda and differing of opinion, he said, It's upon you, my sunnah, and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifat, meaning Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali. It's, uh, it's upon us, the sunnah of the Prophet and their sunnah. 
grab onto it, cling onto it with your molar teeth. And beware of newly invented matters. Because every bid'ah is misguidance. And we ask Allah the Almighty for guidance and a class with a bat.